So this is HCO's water block technology. It's a nano coating that actually goes on the internal components of the device. So I can do things like this. Dip it in orange juice. Take it right back out. Rinse it in the water. Which is something you never dare do with your normal smartphone. And the phone still works just fine. So the nano coating protects only the internal components of the device. It doesn't change the look of the device, the feel of the device at all. Do things like drop it in the toilet and your phone works just fine afterwards. I don't know if you want to touch it after. Probably not. Tell me who's all. How is this available? The availability of who's got it. So we're working with manufacturers. We integrate it straight into the manufacturing process. So it's no cost, extra cost to you at all. You don't have to pay a hundred dollars to get this on your phone. You go out and buy your next phone, and it could have water block on it. It's already done. So um, we're announcing two products here at CES. One is this now light compass. So this is a heavy duty, rugged so military compass for anyone that enjoys outdoor what activities. This is totally with water block. Um, the other one that's coming out here really soon is a tag hewer high end smartphone. So that's coming out soon as well. Tag hewer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the. How long can it be submerged, submerged in liquid? We've done testing up to one meter in depth for over an hour with our devices. So some of these devices we've had here tonight have been in and out of water since 3.30 this afternoon. So, so if I so forgot it in my pool overnight or something, we'd be able to retrieve it? I wouldn't recommend it, but we've tested devices for a long time. So. All right.